Hello YouTubers, this is Johnny again with 573 Outdoors coming at you with part 3 of my Bergera HMR 6.5 build. Uh, as you can see in front of you, FedEx came through in the clutch as well as Optics Plant and uh, delivered the MDT full chassis minus the vertical grip. The vertical grip is the MDT version, their adjustable uh, essentially length of pull uh, trigger depth grip. Uh, I could not get that on Optics Plant because they were sold out and they weren't going to get any for a little bit so I went ahead and ordered that directly through MDT. Um, but as, it sees, as you see here, I have the full ESS which is the enhanced sniper system and it, it comes with the 18 inch forend, the main section and then the skeleton rifle stock as you can see there. Um, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be doing a simple unboxing. I'm going to assemble the chassis together off of the rifle and then I'm going to put the chassis onto the rifle uh, per their instructions and get everything set up and hopefully get to the range this afternoon. So let me get my tools together and we'll get this thing started. Really excited for this build. This is uh, something I've been wanting to do. Um, finally, it all came together, and it's going to be something that no one else has. So, something I'm looking forward to. All right, get my handy knife. First things first, let's get this four end open. As I said, it's the 18 inch. I ordered the all black kit, so hopefully everything comes true. But as to what I ordered, I have not opened it. As you can see, it's just this is my very first impressions of it. Uh, I can tell you that the rail feels lighter than what I expected, um, but not to say that it's any less rigid. Um, essentially, so as you can see, I ordered the no rail version of the 18 inch. It is very long and it's going to cover most of the barrel. It's going to cover about that much of the barrel. So there's only going to be about three and a half to four inches poking out of the barrel and then the muzzle brake that I have. Okay, so that's the four inch. Looks pretty sharp. Love the Cerakote. Next up is the main body. This is the heaviest portion. This right here definitely, you, can, you know where this is at. Okay, comes with the hardware, the mounting bolts and such. Um, as you can see, it does have this plastic gnarled bottom portion here where the three screws to the front section mounts through. Uh, it is inleted for all AI, CS, uh, steel, and the PMAG style. I got the screw, the hardware to attach the AR butts or AR pistol grip, and then a generous trigger well here, and then the mounting hardware for the butt stock. Set that there. Next up, also another stout piece. I can tell is the solid aluminum. Well, I guess skeletized aluminum would be, but it's very hefty. i uh, got three set screws, and then the stock itself. This right here is a masterpiece. Look here. They cut out every portion that they possibly could, but still retain the rigidity. You got the up and down travel with the uh, set screws. They went ahead and went away from the uh, pressure set screws and went to a uh, quick touch deal. You got the full comb adjustment with a left to right and a cant adjustment built in. Then you have the length of pull adjustment here that you loosen this one up, run it all the way out. I'm about a 14 and a half inch length of pull, so I'll put a measure on that to see exactly. And this is actually a rather hmm, soft recoil pad, softer than what I expected. So you got all three of these pieces there. It's gonna line up. Last but not least, we got the vertical pistol grip and the hardware that's associated to it. Open it up. So essentially this is three pieces. Then you got the screws, you got this portion that mounts directly to the stock itself. And then you have the two piece hand grip that has their slot on each other so you keep each other, each one lined up, but it allows you to adjust the length to the trigger so you get that proper uh, touch onto the trigger. So I got all those pieces there. Um, I think what I'm going to start with, because MDT recommends to put the handguard on 
after you install the barreled action, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the buttstock onto the main body, and I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna kind of affix the grip to it, but not get the exact uh, length of to the trigger until I have everything set up. Then I'm going to disassemble the rifle, and then I sent put mount it to the stock to the chassis.